He's such a classically trained jujitsu guard. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Look at this. Look at this. He's got a choke. He's moving to the mount. He's changing it to a guillotine here. He's only got one arm in play, though, but he's going to go to a triangle. Look at, look at how active he is. It's beautiful. He tapped. He tapped. Beautiful jujitsu. Brian Ortega, do you remember what gets you in the door for jujitsu on day one? Yeah. I was at home, and there's this guy named Little Man from Carson, and he, he came across the street and tried to fight me. I ended up fighting him, and uh, I lost. After that, my dad told me, why'd you let him headlock you? Why'd you let him take you down? And we saw the fights of Hoyce Gracie when he fought in the UFC. He's watched them before, and I haven't. So he's like, watch what this little guy does to these big guys. And we saw Hoyce Gracie in there and choke everyone out. And then he goes, that's where you need to learn. And when we figured out he was pretty close to where we lived, he took me there. And it was like a whole new world in there. It was like the green mats, uh, you know, the Gracies in their kimonos and their black belts. And they got this like, I don't know, this aura to them, you know, where they're just like, you could tell they're badass. And it was, it was scary walking in the first, the first day. And then three, four, five months later, I started choking out and tapping out all the adults. 13, 14 year old me, little kid beating up adults. It just, it, it gave me like a crazy level of confidence. It was like, dude, I lost to the guy, in the, a kid in the street. And like four, like four months later, I'm beating a grown man. And then it just, I, I fell in love with it. I just kept training it in, and it was just like, all right, this guy's beating me. In two months, he's not. This guy's beating me. In four months, he's not, you know? And then just, I made like a little personal hit list of everyone who would tap me out. And it just, it just became small goals from there. And that's how I just got involved with it. Look at this, right into a guillotine. Not good. The that's tap. it, that's it. He's sitting. Oh, there's the Ramps neck up. again. Submission attempt once again. Guard. D City going to work. Swanson staying on his feet and trying to escape. He readjusted the hands. I don't know. It might be tighter. That's oh, a there's the tap. Brian T. City Ortega. Tell me about when you go from training jujitsu to having your eyes on becoming an MMA fighter. Because it's one thing to train, it's another thing yeah. to actually get in there and fight. When um, does that become something you want to do? 15 years old. There, there, was, a, there was a time where one of my friends, rest in peace, Joe Tomasi, um, he heard about these illegal fights, or they're called uh, smoker fights. 15 years old, I did it, and then it, it was like, okay, this is the route I'm gonna take. You know, I fought in there, I realized I loved everything about it. You're supposed to be 18. My dad went to the organization and told him I was 18. I don't think they cared, they just needed to know like your dad would be cool with you fighting. And, and I stuck with it, and then now, I don't know, it's like it's the same thing. It's like I enjoy life, and then when I gotta get ready for a fight, it's like, okay, fun, let's stop right now. Let's focus, let's train really hard, and let's go out there and let's, let's get this job done. Oh, big knee! He got a big knee! Ortega. Hit it's all it's over! It. Oh. Ortega with a combination! I feel you have fighters and you have gladiators. I'm a gladiator. When you have fighters, they're very, they're smart. They win points, they win scorecards, they go in there and, and they do a great job at fighting, which is our sport. But then you have the other type, they're gladiators. That they love to finish you. And they're not happy if they don't finish you or they don't get finished themselves. That's a different type of level of, I know I left it all in there. And when I go in there, that, that's how I think. You know, it's like, that's why I say it's kill or be killed or you're fighting for the death, because in my mind, I am. And then when the job is done, then you turn that light switch off and you thank him for the war.